Now that you've learned how to single crochet, it's time to learn how to do the double crochet stitch. If we look at our swatch that we made, and I still have the stitch markers in the first and the last stitch, you can see our rows of our single crochet stitch. We had started with a chain one, as that took us to the height of the single crochet stitch. For the double crochet, we're going to chain two. So one, two, and turn. And if you're not sure where to put your hook because of the, um, the chains that you made, if you're not sure where your first stitch is, and you're looking down at your Vs, the double loops on top, you can look to where your stitch marker is, and before you take it out, you can insert your hook through there. Now for the single crochet, we immediately went and put our hook underneath the first stitch, under the two loops of the V. For the double crochet, we have to do another step first. We have to yarn over and then insert our hook. And now you can take out your stitch marker And we're going to yarn over, pull through, and you'll see that you have three loops on your hook this time. So you wanna yarn over and pull through just two of those three. And now you'll have two again, yarn over and pull through those two. So now we're going to go to our second stitch. Yarn over, go under the V, yarn over and pull through so that you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that is our second stitch. I'm going to place my stitch marker back inside my first stitch so that we have that marked. And now for our next one, yarn over, under the V, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, without splitting the yarn, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go under the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Next one, yarn over, into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Sorry about the clock in the background. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull up, go through the stitch. Pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And now we're into our last stitch. I'm gonna remove my stitch marker, yarn over, insert into the stitch, pull up a loop, go through two, go through two, and I'm going to mark that as that will be our first stitch in our next row. So now, again, we can chain two and turn. And again, we have two extra stitches on here because of our chain two, but we're still only going into that first stitch that we marked. Those two chains do not count as a stitch. They're just there to bring us up to the height that we need. So yarn over, insert into the first stitch, I'm going to remove the marker, yarn over, Bringing up another loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and we can mark that stitch. And it's the same thing all over again for the next row. Yarn over under your V, pull up a third loop, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. 
yarn over under the V, pulling up another loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And you're just going to do the same thing over and over across the row. two stitches, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and the last stitch, oops, yarn over through the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and I'll mark that stitch as well. And we can do one more row, chain two, turn, and again those chains do not count as a stitch, yarn over, go through the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, Place my stitch marker back and then continue on across the row. The double crochet stitch is actually my favorite stitch to do. There's another stitch that I'll teach you the next time called the half double crochet, which is similar to this, but you don't do the second pull it through. Um, some people teach that before this one, but as I said, this is my favorite stitch, so that's why I'm teaching this one now. I was excited for you to learn this stitch. Pull through the last two. And our last one. Okay, let me mark that. And if we take a look at our swatch now, you can see the difference. The single crochet stitches are nice and tight and compact, and our double crochet are much more airy and light looking. Um, that's what gives you that lacy look in crochet that you'll like, and you'll see that there's more stitches that will give an even lacier look, but this is the first stitch that you're learning that has that open style to it. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you were able to learn something. Thank you for coming to my channel. Please make sure that you give this video a like, thumbs up, and make sure that you are subscribed, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.